Hello everyone, welcome back and let's make beautiful, famous bubble candles. Yes, in order to make this bubble candle, I am going to use paraffin wax and here's my beautiful wick. So this is what I'm going to use. Let's just put my wax for melting. Meanwhile, I'm going to wick my container. So here is my six in one uh, big mold for bubble candle. Do you get smaller bubble candle molds as well? So you're free to take whatever mold you like. And here there is a very thin hole in the container. So this is how I'm going to wick my container. Simply add my wick from here and pull it out from this side. Now, there could be a possibility that your mold does not have any hole what are you going to do just take a small pin maybe a u pin and make this hole do not make a very big hole because these molds are extremely sensitive and if you make a very big hole you can actually destroy the whole mold okay please be very mindful that you take a thin pin and then make this hole okay you don't have to heat it you don't have to do anything simply just Take it through once from this side to other. Just say we prick something. That's it. It is going to make a hole in your mold because these molds are very soft. Now let's just get the melted wax and start pouring. But before I do that, I will secure my wick because I love doing that. I don't like my wick to fiddle or to go anywhere else than it, it should be. So here my wax is melted and I'm going to add a little bit of pink color in this just to make it look prettier. Now let's just mix the color well. There you go. Nicely mixed. All set to pour. So I'm just going to pull my mold a little closer so that it's easy for me to pour. If you uh, pour, if you see, I have already secured my wick, and here I go. What a beautiful pink it is! Now that's something one has to be careful. That's okay. I'm just going to control this by pulling it up a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, this mold is extremely soft. So one has to be mindful. Now, if something like this happens, just give it one minute. Because just in one minute, you'll feel that the top of the wax is almost like settled. It won't flow. So now it's not going to flow out. Now you need to let this stay like this. Do not move your mold at all. Because once you move this, one, it is extremely soft. The entire wax will come out. Second, uh, you will have cracks or you will have bubbles. Uh, you will have sinkholes in your wax. And I'm sure none of us want that. So now I'm going to keep this for four to five hours so that this candle can set properly. And once it is set, I'm going to show you how you can demold these beautiful candles and give this a final look. So here my wax has set, but if you see, there is a deep sinkhole and uneven top. So one way of fixing it is heat gun, right? The other way is repour, which I'm going to use right now. So repour, as you know, is a method in which we add the same wax and pour again. That's why it's called repour. So if you see, when I repour, it is going to fill the gaps. All right. 
so here i have filled up all the gaps and left my candle like this now i'm not adding the wick holder because i want this to be absolutely straight and since the wick is already standing straight it's absolutely fine so now once this gets set i'll show you the next step so here the candle is absolutely set all sinkholes are filled now is the time for us to take this out so you can trim the wick now using a wick cutter or you can use a scissors as well all right here it is done now let's just stretch it out and take out our candle so just love the color so how do we take it out simply just stretch the mold towards outside scroll it down and here we see oh my god look at this isn't it beautiful